The Premier League and BT have joined forces to inspire disabled people through sport. We witnessed existing work in this area to see the impact these projects were having within the community. I'm Casper. I play football at Tags Trust. Casper has several diagnoses of physical difficulties. He has a diagnosis of hypertonia, hypermobility, dyspraxia, and he also has no depth perception with his vision. Casper was keen to play football in the playground, but playing with a bunch of very able-bodied, very competitive boys was difficult for him. If you score, are you going to celebrate? We researched what was available locally and found that Tigers Trust was playing on a Monday night. For the first few weeks, he just hid behind my skirts and was a little scared and apprehensive about going on the pitch. And that, that just week by week, the confidence built in him. He's now joined our mainstream football sessions. So he's starting to integrate with mainstream football. He's starting to enjoy it with his school friends as well. But he's also edging towards a talent pathway through the disability side of football as well. My husband is passionate about Hull City, so Casper kind of tagged on to that, but very quickly it became his own passion. The BT funding has enabled us definitely to enhance and improve and extend the work that we do. It's gone from two sessions a week to probably about 20 sessions a week now, and we've stretched into areas of the Hull and East Riding area that we haven't worked in before. The guys that run the Tigers Trust were just so patient with him and understanding that it needed to be done in Casper's time frame. And he soon was running on and tackling the big 18-year-olds and loving the game, really. It's completely different to the first person that walked through the door. He came in holding his parents' hands, you know, not sure what was going to happen, quite scared, quite timid compared to now. He's always talking to people, he always wants to get involved, he's always showing people new skills. The impact of football on Casper's life has been really life-changing. He's now coming up to people and talking about the game, asking about the score, whether they're there on Saturday. I was a mascot against Man U, and, and I walked out with him, yeah, when we won, 2-1. Nice. Which is your favourite sport? <laughs> um, football. Oh, we had a little penalty shootout before, you know, and I was quite... When I went in goal, I was quite surprised at where he was putting the ball, you know. He put one into the top corner and I was, <laughs> I was shocked. I want to be a footballer, like Moses. You can see that they're enjoying it, you know, and it brings them out here every week to connect and get together and do something like this, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Who's your favourite player? You can see me. <laughs> the smiles on people's faces and that, to me, is what trust community and foundation work is all about. <laughs> I think Casper will succeed in life. He'll be able to go on and have an independent life of his parents. Although he might need us in the background a little bit more than his peers, he will have a home and a job and he'll just do all the things that all his friends are going to do. Looking at Casper now, he can do absolutely anything that he wants to do in life. We've given him some ammunition to do that and he's just going to take it to whatever step he wants to. We'll continue to support him as long as we can. Yeah.